Dear Pixie, you asked us, what was the meaning of the two phrases I heard last night in my dream? Incoming wave and crystal shadow. Incoming wave is a convergence, meaning that it has multiple meanings. The first is that which you may know as a super wave. This is coming towards your dimension, not towards your planet in a physical sense. It is important to hold that distinction, even though your planet is, from one perspective, one and the same as dimension. The distinction holds import for you, as the superwave is not physical in the sense that it is interpreted as. The superwave of plasma, light and sound will merge with your dimensional field. This may be interpreted by those of you with scientific minds as matter meets antimatter. This results in a crash, if you will, of matter. Yet, as we have said, this is not physical per se. This simply changes energetic wave patterns or geometries that are manifestation templates, eventually, in linear time, transforming matter. We may call this a terra firma template. The other presentation of incoming wave is a wave of enlightenment, kundalini, or light body activation. This is a wave of upgrading for those you know as starseeds. One could also see this as a wave of awakening occurring at your current now time as you move towards the Lion's Gate Stargate energies. Within this, once again, your earthly domain you know as Scotland steps into the fore energetically as multiple ley line, dragon line vortices are activated within that vicinity. For this is an entrance point for incarnation. It is indeed ancient and in your recent times for a vast amount of your linear time period, it has remained closed and sealed off. Yet now the incarnational portal is opened. We may call this the Hyperborean portal, the Celtic doorway, or if you will, the passageway to fairyland. Indeed, there are other geographical placements for this passageway we speak of. They are in quantum resonance with this one in Scotland, and they shall be opened as you move through 2023 and into 2026 within the three-year section of time as a cycle. The domains known as Ireland and the lands of the Americas are set to open these passageway entrances to Fairyland, or rather Elemental Kingdom, or higher fourth dimensional harmonic worlds within this three year time cycle we speak of. There is also an elemental realm betwixt the third and fourth dimensions and the many portals into this aspect or domain were opened in 2011, 2012 and 2013 in your linear time calendar. The incoming wave, so too, is the brain wave, the planetary brain itself and the human brain. The new golden activations and the new birthing of quantum synapses and pathways shall be presented for your awareness alongside new discoveries and understandings within your studies that you know as neuroscience. 
The wave is movement and momentum. This too is incoming, as that which has been locked down, earthbound and static becomes freed. Dragons bound as stone take flight. We repeat, dragons bound as stone take flight. Crystal shadow, so too, is a convergence of meaning. For each phrase is a subjective memory activation, as well as terminology for explanation. It is light language, and it is understood by light as light. The crystal is that which is crystalline as geometry, as a matrix stargate or celestial mandala or antimatter template that can be passed through, if you will. Evidence of such will be presented within the three-year cycle we speak of within the domain upon your earth that you know as Germany. The crystalline matrix system is fractal, holographic and infinite. Each crystalline stargate structure is unique and has a set of identical emanations and individual and unique offspring or daughter fractalized creations. This could be known as a celestial, galactic or cosmic daughter cell as the original matrix structure radiates itself into a new version of itself, known to many of you as Logos, Sublogos, Sub-Sublogos or Logoi. Your astrological patterns explain this galactic and cosmic divisional fractal creation through the light language terminology itself as in astrology. Astra or astro as celestial or star and logi as logoi, the creation of the astra or star or indeed the study of the stars. Hence we refer to those who are in resonance with the science and or the intuition of this vast study as speakers for planetary alignments. For the alignments create or mark the map or grid or matrix structure we speak of within various forms within that fractal logoi quantum field. Each of these crystalline structures are independent and infinite, yet are unified with the other to create the overall matrix or grid. The crystalline structure, each individual one, is a timeline or a reality formation or dimensional domain. These structures are not something that exists outside of you. It is that which you, as an incarnated individual and as a collective, are interwoven with. For the biological thinkers amongst you, all is given within the phrase daughter cell. Add the word replication to this in a biological sense and this tells you all that you are, in conjunction with the planetary harmonic, the antimatter time matrix, and the galactic grids and highways. The crystal shadow, therefore, as crystalline shadow, could be seen as the pre-birthing point of the new crystalline matrix structure, or indeed, the emanation of it from the perspective of the intelligent infinity point within the original celestial mother cell or stargate. However, so too is the crystal shadow as crystalline shadow 
the inverted aspect, which would be known as inverted matrix, dark polarity structure, artificial intelligence quantum computer system, or eighth sphere. Why then would you as the dreamer, the one who divines within dream time, be shown or given the message of such? In response to your quest, we say to you that within the polarity field of the vertical bifurcation, as the frequency moves higher, so too is there an equal and opposite reaction of moving lower, if you will, prior to the pop into the higher dimensional field as the incoming wave. This is as it is in hyperspace travel through higher formation of the Merkaba light body en masse at collective level. This is the great grand tesseract or grand mother cell of the matrix as great grand Merkaba at work in flight through alchemical unificationary transportation. It is the movement through the field as the field. And as warp speed, light speed momentum through quantum convergence charge is achieved at critical mass level, lower fourth dimensional reality harmonics implode from that perspective. Prior to warp speed engaged, however, within linear time, the lower harmonic moves into pre-implosion status and presents itself to be seen. For all must be seen for warp speed momentum to occur at celestial, galactic and cosmic levels. The integration of the lower harmonic fields is the boost to the initial travel of the multiple Merkaba flight system with the star seeds in full light body armor at the helm. Light love love light seeds the exposure and pre-implosion template for the lower harmonics as the fire flame lower plasma generator powers up the love light light love. This is the way it is. We repeat, this is the way it is. The matter antimatter polarity pull must stretch itself, if you will. Our conduit knows not the terminology within your realm of quantum or particle physics, which we may use to express our meaning of this mechanism. Know that this is the magnetic polarity pull that winds tighter and tighter and tighter until implosion inevitably occurs. At this point, those within the positive light frequency pop, if you will, into the higher dimensional crystalline matrix structure. Those within the lower negative frequency wink out of existence from the perspective of the higher positive aspect. We use the terms higher and positive together in the directional sense of verticality and not conceptually. So from that point of view, the lower aspect the lower harmonic of the negative dimensional scale simply disappears for those who exist within the higher dimensional scale. This is the reason why you may hear or come across information that tells you the lower dimensional realities and all negative consciousness structures or demonic entities that reside there or if you will, astral fields and lower astral beings are disappearing or decomposing. 
This is true from the perspective of those within the higher dimensional state. Although this is pre-implosion as, if you will, the pressure cooker before the steam is released. This is not in truth decomposition or disappearance, but it is a ceasing to exist from the higher perspective within the new higher harmonic reality, new celestial realm, new galactic community, or if you will, new earth evolution. The lower harmonic realities and the consciousness structures or entities within do not disappear or decompose within the whole reality structure, taking into account the remaining third dimension and linear time. For this remains in place within the third dimensional harmonic journey through the sine wave or spiral formation for that structure. In your current matrix field or timeline, this is that which you may know as regenesis, or if you will, a new third dimensional planet. This will be the experiential reality through the reincarnational wheel of experience for those who choose to remain within that frequency or place. Within the third dimension, this lower harmonic or astral plane or field presents itself for collective integration. This you will bear witness to, either within self or other. However, depending on where you are within the scale, this may look like a bliss, euphoria, harmonious unity of love and remembering all, a new Lemuria, a new Atlantis, true love in living manifestation with instant creation at one's fingertips, a God self or fully realized ascended being in physical incarnation. Or it may look like madness, a confusion, a loss of anchor, disintegration, or lack of continuity, mind spin, misinterpretations, misunderstandings, and extreme ungrounded instability. Those experiencing this reality, the lower harmonic reality, will move into a semblance of internal structurization that gives sense or continuity, cohesion to the third dimensional self and the paradigm boundaries shall thus phase lock into position. The individual thus feels in control of their reality construct it makes sense to them. This is essential preparedness for their experience as they create a new passageway or reincarnational tunnel system into their new regenicized reality. Even though the structure does not hold within the morphogenetic memory field, for it cannot take form through lower fourth dimensional harmonic passageways, it must be set within the experiential reality for the soul to move through regenesis in its new transmutated form. Therefore, whilst this appears to be madness, insanity, ungroundedness and instability to you within the higher harmonic field, and indeed to you it is this, it is not in the truest sense of the word as you know it on your planet in a medical or psychological term, true insanity. For a semblance of structure as third dimensional paradigm remains 
as pre-implosion transportation into new reincarnational system through regenesis. However, once the phase lock boundaries are in place for these individuals and as a collective, the higher dimensional scale is out of reach for them unless in very rare cases they are catalyzed into a climb of frequency through an 11th hour awakening process. For those phase locked, grounded and earthbound, the Merkaba cannot be activated and flight cannot take place. Therefore, for these individuals, the higher harmonic scale does not exist. This is not incorrect from their limited paradigm experiential reality. Therefore you, starseeds, light workers and ascending ones, you are those that appear ungrounded, unstable and in a state of insanity. You appear this not to one another who exist within your resonance as the Aurora Network or to the higher dimensional ascended forces and living loving geometry. You appear this to those who cannot see you, for you are invisible to them in all that you truly are. Your need to profess your understanding of truth in an over-emotional expression only serves to reinforce their perspective of you and who and what you are. Your rationality and steadfast, grounded integrity sends them either into a new cognitive dissonant spiral or catalyzes them into awakening. This is the extreme polarity field you now experience. Extreme bifurcation. This was entered into on your March equinox point 2023 and continues in this reality spiral until 2026 when the linear reality is still experienced in a physical sense for both sides of the bifurcation. This ramps up into a new hyperspace field at the time of your Lion's Gate August 8th, 2023 and again in 2024 at the Lion's Gate August 8th and 2025 at the Lion's Gate August 8th and potentially 2026. For this is the celestial and galactic birthing point for the pre-implosion templates and Merkaba activations we speak of. We say potentially 2026, for this is when you are set to enter the singularity field. And due to the convergence of timelines as a labyrinthine nexus, this is as yet unwritten as to which stream you shall take as individual and collective Aurora Network soul structure. That point is in the hands of the Ascending Ones, you. As you traverse the matrices of time as manifestation magicians, magical mages, and the quantum wizards that you are. We are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine, I am just so, so happy to be able to announce to you that my new book is available. The Diamond Codex and the Quartz Key. Accessing the accelerated Stargate system through crystalline transformation of the genetic code. What does it mean to transmute one's DNA from carbon-based to crystalline within the context of spiritual enlightenment and physiological evolution. 
practical templates for photonic light gene expression, alchemical unification, and light body activation are provided within this channeled transmission, delivering this codex at a time within humanity's awakening and expansion when synchronicity is abundant. The mysteries of the accelerated Stargate system as an intelligent living infinity structure call the star seeds of earth to remember why they are incarnated here and what they came here to do the downloads epiphanies and realizations that will organically come to each star seed as they immerse themselves within this sacred text are catalysts for those memories Introducing Dreamwalker, the story, presented through my interdimensional dialogue with the monadic light structure that is the white-winged collective consciousness of Nine. This book has been such an absolute delight and joy to transcribe from the Nine, and I truly hope you enjoy reading it. Available in paperback, hardcover, and Kindle.